The shootings like that continue to plague the city. There's a new push for gun reform. As Harrisburg reporter Seth Kaplan shows you, teenagers went to the state capitol today to plead for change. We had to get on a bus at 6 this morning. But high school senior Maddie Barbazette made the bus trip to Harrisburg from Westchester five years after that first march for our lives. Five years and a month after a gunman killed 14 students and three teachers at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. Since then, mass shootings have continued. Keep fighting until something changes. Maddie Barbazette was 13 when the Parkland massacre happened. Khalees Cowens was 10. Well, my generation has learned to hide in classrooms. Sometimes I'm like jealous of the other generations because they never had to worry about stuff like that. I've had multiple people from multiple different generations and backgrounds come up to me and say, I'm so sorry we did this to you. We are too familiar with gun violence. We are too familiar with victimization. We are too familiar with mothers losing their children and children losing their mothers. Hard to find anybody who disagrees with that, but as for the idea that stricter gun control is the solution, that here in Harrisburg is a different story. Every Pennsylvania deserves to live in a safe community and have safe neighborhoods. Pennsylvania uh, House GOP spokesman Jason Gottesman says Republicans are frustrated at what they consider Democratic moves to undermine progress. And we have political prosecutors that don't take our laws seriously, tough on crime laws that we have spent years working to enact here in Pennsylvania. Democrats now control the state house, but any proposal would have to pass the GOP-controlled state Senate before it could become law. In Harrisburg, Seth Kaplan, CBS News, Philadelphia.